So it's Saturday afternoon. We're um, actually on our way to get some lunch with Joe and Laura. And we haven't seen them in, I think, over a week. Right, Mikey? Yeah, it's been a while. So um, we're excited to see them. And then uh, Laura and I this afternoon are going to be making a bunch of cookie dough that we're going to freeze and uh, have for the holiday season. So we'll definitely show you guys that too. But what do you think, Mikey? You excited? We're going to get Mexican food. Oh, yeah. Big Daddy loves Mexican. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, man. The beans go right through me, <laughs> but I love Mexican. And another thing about the beans is that I can use it as warfare. So when I eat a lot of beans, they're good for your heart, but the more you eat them, I think you can finish the rest. So I use I do use it as class A warfare against Joe when he uh, gets crazy. So um, I do enjoy my beans in Mexican. So I go out of my way to eat extra beans just because they're legumes and they're very good for you. But again, the classic warfare. So um, other than that, it is Saturday. It's a beautiful day. Um, and I must say, it's a Saturday, beautiful day. I must say I like to play in the hay with the with, uh, I'm trying to make a rhyme here, but I guess I can't. And there's Joan Laura in front of us. He just turned out uh, in there, so. Nice. Um, so yeah, there's their car over there, and they're turning in, and we are pulling in behind them, and it's kind of funny that we're actually meeting up at the same place at the same exact time. So we're gonna get some good food, good eats, and uh, and I'm sure Bree's gonna have a lot to vlog later on, because me and JoJo are gonna hang out a little bit today, and Bree's gonna uh, vlog her uh, favorite uh, cookie dough making. So love it, and peace out. Okay, so we are, well, I am at Joe and Laura's house. Mikey's out with Joe this afternoon. Um, but I'm, at, I'm with Laura. We just got back from the store, and I wanted to show you guys all of our ingredients for our cookies. So check this out. We're not obviously not going to use all this stuff, but this is what we got to make uh, oatmeal scotchies, chocolate chip cookies. We need a list for this. Christmas spritz cookies, right, Laura? Yes. And um, what's the last one? Oh, chocolate chip, butterscotch, Christmas spritz, coconut cranberry, white chocolate. Yeah. What was the last one? Mm. There was one other one. Oh, yeah. peanut butter. Peanut butter. Okay, I'm gonna write this down. Peanut butter. Peanut butter cookies. Oh, peanut butter. That's the easy one. Chocolate chips. Okay. Okay. Uh, oatmeal scotchies. So this is everything. Oh, speaking of that, I have to get the peanut butter. <laughs> oh, yes. And I'll also get all the recipes ready. And I'll get all our stuff. Yeah, so we're going to split everything up and kind of start making one batch and move on from the next. we got a lot of baking ahead of us. Well, not yes. baking. Mixing. No, mixing. Yes. And then we're going to freeze it. So we'll show you. We'll check in. All right, so we're starting with our first cookie, which is going to be the oatmeal, white chocolate, cranberry, and coconut so it's gonna be delicious I'm really excited about this one this one's a different one for me um, so we're creaming together butter and sugar to start off and we'll check in so just checking in these are our oatmeal scotchies so they look great they have butterscotch oatmeal they're gonna be awesome so we're two down three to go and our next uh, cookie is the Spritz cookie. So I'm excited about that one. That one's a little different. We're actually going to use a cookie press for it. This thing. And check it out. It's got a really cute little Christmas tree attachment on there. So our spritz cookies are going to be Christmas trees. They're going to be really cute. Okay, so it's coming out of the freezer. We had this batch in the freezer for um, over an hour, but you only really have to put them in for an hour. And then you can see they're nice and firm, so you can throw them right in the freezer. It's awesome. So then... So then what we'll want to do is we will take them out when we're ready to actually bake them and we'll throw them in the oven for um, probably like 10 to 15 minutes longer than you would if they weren't frozen. Just kind of. Probably like four minutes more than. Four minutes more? Yeah. You'll have to just keep an eye on them. Yeah. If the recipe calls for them to be in the oven for like 10 minutes, you just want them to be in the oven for maybe 14. 14 minutes, yeah, okay. Yeah, something like that. I mean, it's really hard to say. By the way, Look at all these beautiful cookies. It's really hard to say how long exactly they take. You mm -hmm. just have to keep your eye on them. Yeah. That's it. So that's what we'll do. We'll just keep our eye on them because they'll be baking from frozen, but they'll be so much easier because we got all the hard work done and Laura's kitchen's already cleaned up, so it's awesome. Oh, yeah. Right? We got one on a roll. So we're going to bag these babies up. And here are 
all of the cookies we made today. This is just my batch. So Laura has an equal amount of cookies. Peanut butter, chocolate chip, coconut cranberry, white chocolate, um, oatmeal scotchies, and spritz. Hey, what's up guys? Feel free to like my videos and subscribe. And also hit me up on social media. I really appreciate it.